Hello friends, welcome to module 3 of collapse. In this, we shall see a particular case of collapse. By the end of this lecture, you will be familiar with the pattern of collapse affecting this particular law. So given before you is a chest radiograph. Look carefully. The first question that needs to be answered is whether it is normal or not. So pause for a moment and take a detailed look. So what do you see? You can see an abnormality here. So what abnormality? Abnormality in the form of an opacity. Next, you have to find out where is opacity. For that, apply the silhouette sign. Look carefully and what do you see? The right heart border cannot be delineated, which means this is situated in the right middle lobe. So we have answered two questions. What is the abnormality? It is an opacity. And where is the abnormality? It is in the right middle lobe. So now we have to give much detail to the question what. Let's define the opacity. What are the causes of opacity in a chest radiograph? Consider three possibilities, consolidation, collapse and mass. Now let's take them one by one. So how to differentiate between consolidation or is it a collapse? Remember, both are causes of non-aerated lung. But the difference is that in consolidation, the volume is preserved, whereas in collapse, there is loss in volume. Also, an added finding for consolidation is the presence of air bronchogram. Now, take a look at the radiograph again. What do you find? There is definitely evidence of volume loss. How do I come to that conclusion? Look carefully. You can see the crowding of bronchovascular markings. Now, we have an upper hand towards collapse of the right middle lobe. Now, how do you confirm it? Go for a lateral chest x-ray. I'll tell you that this is the striking appearance of right middle lobe collapse. Let's see that in a moment. So, given is a representation of the lateral chest radiograph. And what do you see? This is the area of minor fissure located at about the fourth rib level. And this is the area of the major fissure. Now, in collapse of the right middle lobe, what happens is that the major fissure, which is expected somewhere here, moves anteriorly and the minor fissure, which is expected somewhere here, will move downwards. Thus, it outlines a wedge-shaped opacity that overlies the hard border. This is the classic feature of right middle lobe collapse. So, as I've already mentioned, in chest radiograph, once you spot an abnormality, if there is a pattern, you have to stamp that pattern in your mind. So, in a frontal radiograph, an opacity with loss of silhouette of the right card border with a triangular or wedge shape appearance with apex pointing away and base towards the region of heart is the feature or imaging appearance of right middle lobe collapse. Whereas in the lateral radiograph, it appears as a wedge shaped opacity overlying the cardiac shadow due to the displaced minor and the major fissure. So keep this image in your mind so that you can diagnose a case of right middle lobe collapse in the subsequent. So keep this image in mind so that you can diagnose right middle lobe collapse in the future. Thank you.